Every year, about 200,000 people in the United States learn that they have something called a fistula. It's a condition that many people have never even heard of, and the diagnosis can be frightening, but it doesn't have to be. There are effective, proven treatments, and your doctor can help develop a plan that's right for you. So what exactly is a fistula? Fistulas occur when an abnormal connection or passageway is formed between two organs or vessels that usually don't connect. In the urinary tract, fistulas can form between the bladder and the uterus, the bladder and the vagina, or the urethra and the vagina. In the intestine, they can occur between two parts of the intestine, the small intestine and the colon, or the small intestine and the skin. The most common type of fistula, however, are anal fistulas, also sometimes called perianal fistulas. These can appear between the anal canal and the skin around the anal opening, between the rectum and the vagina, between the anus and the vagina, or between the colon and the vagina. What often happens with anal fistulas is that small glands just inside the anus get clogged and become infected. This infection causes what's called a perianal abscess, that is, a painful, pus-filled bump near your anus or rectum. Pressure from this fluid builds up against infected tissue, which then grows to form the fistula. They're especially common in patients with Crohn's disease. In fact, about 25% of people with Crohn's will develop them. But in many cases, the exact cause is not known. So how do you know if you have one? Symptoms include skin irritation around the anus, ongoing pain in the area, which often gets worse when you sit, move, or go to the bathroom, foul-smelling discharge near the anus that may also include pus or blood, pus or blood in the stool, and more general symptoms like fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and more. If any of these sound familiar, it's time to call your doctor. A professional diagnosis is essential because many of the symptoms are consistent with other conditions. Plus, without proper care, fistulas can cause nerve damage, create additional infections, and even lead to kidney failure. And that doesn't even count the everyday, ongoing discomfort you're forced to live with. The good news is that many treatments are available, including non-invasive ones. Fibrin glue is one common option. As the name implies, it's used to seal fistulas shut. Alternatively, an injection of collagen can be used to plug your fistula, sealing it off. A third non-invasive option is a catheter. Like urinary catheters, which are tubes that drain liquid from the bladder, catheters can be used in fistulas to drain away the infection. Medications can also play a role in your treatment plan. Antibiotics are frequently prescribed to stop the infection that's causing your fistula. They won't eliminate the fistula itself, but getting rid of the infection is an important part of your overall care plan. As far as repairing the fistula goes, one exciting new treatment that's being tried with Crohn's patients is the use of stem cells. They're injected right into the affected area to promote regrowth of tissue and to close off the canal. While stem cells may be promising, the most common way that anal fistulas are repaired today is through surgery. Most procedures are done on an outpatient basis. You'll be able to go home the same day, but there are some cases where a short hospital stay is necessary. Surgery is usually done either transabdominally, that is through a small incision in the abdominal wall, or laparoscopically, which is through a tiny incision and with the use of cameras as guides. Once your surgeon has located your fistula, they'll typically perform a fistulotomy, cutting the fistula open in a way that promotes healing. With particularly challenging fistulas, the surgeon may have to install a drain that can remain in place for six weeks or even longer. Once the abscess has been properly drained, the surgeon can go back in for a follow-up surgery to complete the repair. To learn more about fistulas, along with important information about a whole range of bowel disorders, visit the National Association for Continence's Digestive Health Center today.